so um today's video i'm going to be showing you guys this dormant uh, bodies with the pencil bottom um so i wanted to show you guys how you can cut this you can add like a circle bottom to it you can add like a gather to this uh, pattern but i i already made the video but i lost the clip so i wanted to explain it to you guys is a very very simple dress that you can make if you're using a fabric that is cut by 60 you can use one and a half yard of fabric uh, for it if you're using akara you can use like two yards of fabric for it because akara is cut by 46 i think so the um the first thing you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two you know how we normally fold our fabric so you can see your front bodice is going to be folded into two your back bodice is also going to be folded into two but the only difference is that your back bodice is going to have the zip allowance which I also have here I've already cut this one so I'm going to just explain how I cut it on this pattern paper so this pattern paper is exactly what you have here so you see my back bodice has the zip allowance and then this is going to be my front bodice except it's folded into two if you're using a fabric it's going to be folded into two like this right but that would be a waste of I don't have a lot of paper to work with so I'm just showing it to you guys on each plain paper but you can imagine it being this one here the way it's folded into two and then this one is folded into two so now let's start the first thing you're going to use to determine the width here is your shoulder measurement your shoulder measurement divided by two so for me my shoulder i'm working with is um 16 divided by two is going to be uh eight and then you're going to add your sleeve length the sleeve length i'm working with is also eight inches and then plus extra one inch of seam allowance to fold the end of my sleeve. So in total, I have eight inches, which is half of my shoulder measurement, eight inches, which is the sleeve length, and then extra one inch. So in total, I think I have like 17, uh, eight plus eight plus one. That's about 17 inches of width on, on this here. So you fold your fabric 17 inches into two, right? 17 inches folded into two, right? So that's going to be like, I think 34 in total if you open up the wideness of the cloth so now remember this is supposed to be on a fold on a fold right on a fold so now we are going to start cutting um, um, inserting the measurement the first thing you're going to do is to just come in here insert your neckline so for me i'm going to be using three inches neckline here you can also make a boat neck that widens but i'm just going to be using three inches here and then you're going to come down here by about one inch or 1.5 mark that here and then from this point here let me just mark my neckline so i'm going to come down three inches by three inches right so guys this is it for my front neckline and then for my back neckline all i have to do is to come down one inch here and then this is going to be my back neckline, right? So my back neckline is going to extend all the way to the back. But you see, this here is my front neckline. So from this point of this um, one and a half that you came down by at the end of your sleeve, you're going to connect it to the point of this, your three inches neckline. So guys, from my shoulder now, I'm going to mark my shoulder to my uh, breast point, which is 10. But then you're going to you're going to mark this here and then you're going to mark your shoulder to your waist The length you're going to be using here is basically your shoulder to waist and my shoulder to waist is 15 In this pattern prepared and then plus one inch half an inch for joining the bottom half an inch for joining the uh, Top part so that's why I have 16 here So now the next thing you're going to do is after marking that 10 now it depends on you if you want the end of the sleeve to be um fitted on you then you can just go ahead and use this point here this this line here right this line of 10 inches to be the end of your sleeve except you want yours to if you want the opening of your sleeve to be wide like the one on this picture at the moment then you're going to come down by like three inches or so down right so if you want the opening to look more like a kimono and you don't want it like fitted at the end of the sleeve you want it just free then come down like three inches like this and then you're going to go ahead and mark that then on this same line now is where you're going to insert your bust measurement right so on this same line now you're going to insert your bust measurement divided by four so i'm working 42 bust divided by four is 10.5 mark that here and then add extra one inch of seam allowance to it so that's going to be somewhere here and then you're going to come down to the waist and then you're going to insert your waist measurement so the waist i'm working with is about um 34 divided by uh, 4 is going to be 8.5 and then i'm going to add 2 inches to it because i'm going to be adding a dart here so that's going to be about 10.5 mark that here and then from here now you're going to connect this together 
So guys, now that you've marked your armhole to your, I'm um, sorry, you've marked your, you are going to connect your bust line to the waistline. So I've connected mine now down to this point. So all you have to do now is just to give it a curve because you don't want this very sharp end. You're going to give it like a curve here. You can move one inch to one inch here. So one inch on this line and then one inch on this line and then connect the two. That will give you a perfect curve. So you're going to give it a curve so that the armhole is not sharp and goes in deep like a four corner this way. So you're going to use this one here so that it blends into this line. So at this point now, this line here is going to be the opening of your armhole. As you can see, I've gone ahead and cancelled out this one because you want it to be open. But let's say you wanted it to be a little bit fitted at the end. Then you're going to use your shoulder to your breast point or your shoulder to your breast point bone. Just come down by one inch and then insert your bust measurements there. So somewhere along here, you can come down one inch or two inches, it depends on you. And then you're going to connect it, put in your bust measurement and connect it to your waist. And then after that, now we are going to put in our dart. So to put in the dart, you're going to measure your nipple to nipple, which is uh, four inch, um, sorry, eight inches for me, um, divided by two. That's going to be four. Mark that here. And then my dart is going to stop one inch before my bust, which is this line. One inch before that is going to be somewhere here. And then I'm going to connect it all the way down. Mark half an inch on this side and half an inch on this side. And just like that, this is going to be my bust dart here for the front. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut out this part now so that I can, uh, I can be able to put in my dart at the back. So guys, I'm going to start from this waist part to cut out, right? I'm going to go in here, cut out the slit part here. So you see it's coming together now. I'm going to cut out this line. So guys, after that, I'm going to cut out the back neckline first so that I can separate it from the front. So this is the back neckline. So now that I've cut it out, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my front neckline, which is this deeper one. At this point now, you can change your front neckline and make it come down a little deeper than this if you want it lower than this. Or you can, when it was still together, you can go ahead and extend it and make it like a boat neck. So to make it like a boat neck, you just have to come in here maybe by two inches, extend it, and then connect these three inches into it and cut it both for the front and for the back extend it this way that way you have your boat neck right so that's basically how you're going to do it but i'm not doing that here i'm just going to cut out my normal uh three inches neckline so guys to put in my back that i'm just going to follow this seam allowance part again this line here and then just come in here by about four inches here which is the same my nipple to nipple measurement and then go up to my chest line so this line, my dart is going to come up to my chest line at the back. So my chest line is somewhere here. I've gone ahead and marked it. So my dart is going to come up to that point. So your back dart is going to be longer than the front one. And then you're going to mark half an inch on each side. And then you're just going to connect it like you did for the front. So guys, now that you've connected it, you've basically drawn your pattern. So now you're going to just go ahead and um, add... Uh, cut it out on your fabric but guys what i'm trying to say here is you can go ahead and draw this on your fabric i'm just using a pattern paper here because i lost the clip of me cutting this pattern here so you can go ahead and just all you have to do is make sure that your fabric is folded for the front and then the one at the back is also folded into two and then you go ahead and start inserting your measurement like i showed you guys here so that's basically it now we'll move over to the skirt part your uh, pencil, your normal pencil skirt so all you have to do is to fold your fabric into two like I've, I've done here using your the widest part of your lower body which is your hip right so um the hip divided by four the hip measurement is the widest measurement for my lower body so i'll divide it by four so the hip i'm working with is 48 divided by four is 12 i added one inch to it for my seam allowance so that's why I have 13 inches. And as you can see, the fabric is folded into two. This is my back panel, my front panel. But I'll still split open the back panel here. So now I'm using, uh, I have 13 inches of width here. So now I'm going to start inserting my measurements. So the length of the skirt depends on you. So basically you're going to measure from your shoulder to where you want the length of the dress to be. And then you're going to subtract your half length from it. So that's going to be, the, anything that is left is going to be your skirt length. So my dress is supposed to be about 40 inches of length. 
I'm going to subtract 17 inches from it. That's my shoulder to my knee is what I want the, the dress to be. Subtract 17 inches from it. I have 23 or so left. So 23 is going to be the length of this here plus extra 1.5 inch to it. One inch for folding the end and half an inch for joining the, th the top part to the body of the dress. So now we'll start inserting our measurement. So the first thing you're going to do now is to put in your waist. So this part is where I'm going to insert my waist measurement, which is 30, which is 34. Divided by 4 is going to be 8.5. I'm going to be adding 2 inches to it. 1 inch of dotting and 1 inch of seam allowance. So that's going to be 10.5. I'm going to mark that here. And then I'm going to measure from my waist down to my hip, which is about 10 inches down here. And then I'm going to insert my hip measurement, which is basically the fold of the fabric. My hip measurement divided by 4 plus 1. That's 13 inches. I mark it here. And then I'm going to bring down this all the way to this part here. And then you're going to come down one inch from here. Mark it in a straight line so that you don't connect the end of the skirt directly to this point. So now the next thing you're going to do is to... Because you want it to be a pencil skirt, right? This 13 inches that you have at the hip or whatever measurement you have at the hip, subtract one from it and bring it down here. So I'm going to bring down 12 here. So I had 13 at the hip. I'm going to bring down 12 here because remember this is your thigh and you don't want... Your thigh narrows from your hip to your thigh, it narrows, so that's why you have to also narrow it this way. So you're going to subtract one inch from your hip measurement. So I'm going to mark this now and cut it out. So guys, the next thing we are going to mark on our hip here, on the waist here is the um, your dart. So you're going to measure your nipple to nipple measurement for me, that's four. I marked it here and then I'm going to bring it down here. Your body, you're going to stop two inches before your hip. Remember, like I said, my hip is at ten. So it's going, to, it's going to stop two inches before that, which is at eight. So my dart is going to come down here, half an inch on this side, half an inch on this side, and then it's going to go down here. The same way I'm going to transfer this dart all the way on the four sides of this skirt, right? Because it's folded into four, two on front, two at the back. So I'm going to just notch it here so that I know that that's it. So I'm going to just mark it here, notch it here. And then I'm going to split open the back so that I can be able to... So guys, I split open the back so that I can be able to insert my zip. So this here is for my zip, about 1.5 inches. So now we move on. This is my skirt here. I, I've also cut it out. So now all I have to do is to pick my dart on the skirt, join the skirt together, and then I'm also going to go ahead and then join my top. All, where you want to join the top, you just have to join the shoulder of each of them together. And then you come down to the sleeve. And then it depends on you what you want to do. I think for this one here, I'm going to be doing a turn-up sleeve um, with Akara fabric on it. So, and then after that, once you put in your turn-up sleeve, you close up the side. But then you've also put in your dart and then you join the bottom of the two of them, put in your zip. As you can see, you can, um, I've finished mine here. So all I did was to use Akara to line the neckline. But before that, you can see there's a stitch at the top part here. So you have to join the shoulder part together, the shoulder of the front and the back together. If you look inside, you will see the seam here. So you join the shoulder together for the front and the back. Use bias, finish up your neckline. And then whatever you decide to use for your sleeve, as you can see, I did a turn up sleeve. I will link a video on how to make a turn up sleeve in the um, description for this video. And then the, uh, finish, I finished up with Akara here for the turn up sleeve, closed the top, finished up my skirt part. As you can see, I also put in my dart here and then joined the bodies together. So this is the back, what it looks like. So you can see my zip and then I also put in a dart here. This video is basically to show you guys, because it looks similar to the wrap one, kimono wrap one that I, I just made initially. So this is just to show you guys how it looks when you don't do the wrap one so this is just a little different from the previous video and then i also decided to attach an akara belt to it so this is what it looks like because this this hair came with um the sleeve has this color so i also decided to give it a belt that also has this color so that's basically it here thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye